Greetings and welcome here at Mr. Harman Manyora's channel. My name is Simon Irungu here with the big question. And it, it is still a new year. Yes. Same old politics. Yeah, yeah. I don't know this year. We are year. moving one step at a time. Uh -huh. We are building our democracy and our politics. Is there going to be a major change this year? Of course, we're going to have uh, a big election. Mm -hmm. A new president will be in the office. Okay. New games, new ways of playing the politics. One step at a time. Okay, so the question for today, Mr. is... Uh, is this the, the year that Kenya is going to move away from, a, from an eth ethnic-based election? We, we have always been praying mm -hmm. and hoping we are getting there. But unfortunately for those who think so, I have bad news. And how things if are going already, there are already, the already panics of people fearing for the, maybe for the worst the, during the, the election. No, no, no. No, let's not mix two things. One, uh -huh. there is a question of uh, tribe driving our politics. Uh -huh. In other words, tribe being the only consideration, the okay. only demography. But it's an entirely different thing that we should not even try to think about. Okay. Live alone, entertain. Or people mobilizing people in, uh, in a dangerous way. That's a different thing. Okay, and can we say that Ruto's uh, approach for this election, having one big political party that is going to accumulate a lot of people, is it going to drive away people from that ethnic-based election? It, that's what Ruto hopes. Yeah. Uh, and it does appear like he has succeeded okay. to some extent. But whether that can be sustained is something I highly doubt. I think Kenyans will go to factory setting, to default setting. And our default setting is tribe. Because I've always said, we engage each other at the university and other places. Highly educated Kenyans, men and women. But as we move towards the election, you begin to see the Kikuyu in the professor. Okay. You begin to see the Luo in the nurse. You begin to see the Kalenjin in the doctor. You know what I'm talking about. You can yeah. see it, eh? Yeah. And finally, when the voting comes, the primordial instincts drive that professor, that doctor, that engineer, that nurse, that teacher, that mechanic to vote. Instead of his brain, instead of his ability to think and assess the things, he's driven by the primordial instinct that makes him see only his tribal teen god. Is somebody. They say in Kenya in Swahili that uh, square siku uchaguzi ndo unajua jirani yako ni kabila gani. Kabisa, which is bad. But I'm only happy that uh, while that may be so, but for a very short time, among the common men and women. Of course, when they go and vote, they remember their Kikuyus, their Duruma and the rest. But they quickly come back, like Uhuru Kenyatta said, in Kibera, or Kibra, some people say, that is good. But it's only when we do it in a negative way, mobilizing uh, in a tribal way, you know, militarizing tribe, that's when the danger comes in. But organizing along tribal lines, or oh, you mobilize Kikuyus to vote for you as an MP because you are Kikuyu in a certain area, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Yeah. okay, so still, when we're we are still talking on Ruto and his big... Uh, party where he wants to accommodate everyone and we saw uh, Isaac Ruto the other day moving crowds in his area. Uh, is it high time that Ruto says that you know other parties can join in? Yeah we have said that and we are saying yes he has to. Mm -hmm. It may be a little too late, it may leave him with egg on, on the face, it may look awkward but I think he, sh he has to. You know, you say that in election, even two months is so much. Yeah, yeah. So even if he decides to do to accommodate yes. all these parties right now, can it be a game changer? For it you? can only be too late because if the people you are aiming have already been taken and they are comfortable where they are, it can also be late because there's a law in parliament. Okay. If this law, which has gone through the National Assembly, if it goes through Senate, then there is a time limit. So it can be late to that extent. What is good for Kenya right now? A strong united party like NAC of 2002, maybe ODM of 2007, maybe Jubilee of the 2017. What is good for Kenya right now? Of course, Kenyans desire strong parties. And in writing the new constitution, they talk of Kenya being a multi-party democracy. This is born out of the problems we encountered under the one-party dictatorship, under Kanu. 
So ideally, Kenya would love to have one multipartisan. Yeah. And secondly, strong parties. You cannot, you cannot enhance democracy unless you have strong, viable parties. But unfortunately, coalitions are now here with us, even as they are being formalized by being codified into law. And they, they definitely have a, an impact on, on multipartisan. Okay. They will kill parties. Especially the kind of coalitions we have, which come before election. So you can see, if this bill goes through and becomes law, mm -hmm. even a big party like ODM will lose its identity in Azimio. Yeah. So, okay. so we, we would want to have multipartisan, we'd want to have strong parties, but because we are seeming to be in love with the coalitions, we are making coalitions look like they are inevitable. And the coalitions are having a toll on our parties. So we, 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 I don't know how we shall navigate around it. Okay, so what's your personal, uh, personal view of the coalition bill? If you ask me, yeah. I might begin to change my mind and favor multi-party democracy. No, rather parliamentary democracy. Okay. I've not been for it. But the way things are playing out, we are sneaking, we are trying to sneak through the back door parliamentary democracy okay. in other words where we have like a prime minister so i think let us have strong parties let's go parliamentary where the strong party or together with other parties then produce the prime minister i think we are ripe for that i've been against it but for the first time today i think i'm beginning to see to end this uh, this thing we are seeing around this these shenanigans about coalitions and all that mm -hmm. we must begin to embrace uh, parliamentary democracy. Okay, so um, who's going who's going to benefit and, and if they benefit, are they going to benefit more from if the bill goes through? Initially it will be Yazimio. Okay. Because it's Raila who need who needed a, a coalition more than Ruto. Ruto already has a strong party. Okay. And he has expressed clearly his intention to keep it strong national, the UDA party. Raila on the other hand has a problem reaching certain regions, okay. which he can only do so through those domestic parties. Okay, so he must, uh, when the bill goes through, yes. maybe he can go campaign there. I mean, let's say maybe in Mount Kenya, he can go campaign there through maybe Jubilee. Jubilee. Okay, and other parties that are yes. regional. Chama there. Chakazi, Kuria, Usawa Party, Mwangi Wairi, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we must look at the coin from both sides, okay? Yes. And we, or we, we, I want us to look at the perspective where the bill doesn't go through. Is it going to make much damage to Raila? Not so much because basically it was providing legal clothing to that which is already there. You know, there was the Jubilee Coalition in 2013. Yeah. There was CORD. There was NASA in 2017. So this as Mio can move on more or less the same way. So it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that uh, when the law doesn't go through, they won't form the coalition. Okay, so I was watching... There's already a law that allows for coalitions. I was watching on live television, I think yes. the other day, in Citizen TV, a lady from, uh, I think, Wasingishu, yes. and she was saying that uh, Raila, I don't know if it's, it's true, but yes. it was Howard's, and she said that Raila needs this, maybe so that he can have... A, a deputy from the mountain yes. with a camp with a party from there so that it's easier for him to campaign there so when he if does the he, when the bill doesn't go through and he runs uh, and the deputy has to run from a different party it's going to be difficult for him how because the president has already been set in 2013 raila ran as odm deputized by wiper kalonzo mshoko okay. uru tna deputized by ruto you are a piece of, it can still work. But they and in 2017, the same. But they ran in one party. You know, and but they are from different... It was very tricky. Uh -huh. Because Kalonzo was still a member of uh, Wiper. Then why are people saying that it's very difficult to sell uh, Azimio at Mount Kenya? You, you know what people are saying? If somebody goes with like a small party dangling it, it doesn't have as much impact as if that small party was within an umbrella of a coalition, a big formal coalition, and that this coalition this time is, is, is codified into law. That's what people are saying. 
okay, we have to bring the conversation to an end at that. And maybe something for the subscriber, they have been slowly subscribing. Yes. Uh, we were doing our research and we noticed that most of our viewers have not subscribed. What did you tell them? Yeah, there are many people who watch without subscribing. And we only inform them that uh, we need to grow together. It doesn't cost you anything. Just touch the subscriber button, that red one there, and you are subscribed. Anytime a video comes out, you get it. And it costs you nothing. And you say it's absolutely uh, free. It is free and we grow together. The only beauty is that when we release a video, we want to know people are watching. You know, like yeah. TV. I'm always on TV. You can be talking to yourself. Okay. So this idea, when people began looking at people calling in, you know, we look at uh, viewership, uh -huh. then the people began to get encouraged. But before that, you would be talking on radio without knowing whether anybody was listening or not. Okay, so, so we are only happy subscribe. when we see our subscribers okay. growing, because then we know there are people we are talking to. Then we, it makes us even happier and encourages us. Yeah. Okay, well, that has been the conversation, and we are hoping for a very peaceful election come the election date this year. Well, if you have not subscribed, you've had it, go ahead and subscribe. My name is Simon Irungo. Till we have this conversation again. Bye-bye.